The Paul Leslie Interviews. Morning, Paul. Good morning, Mr. Bear. How are you? I couldn't be better. <laughs> I'm so I woke up. Or as Willie said, I woke up and I still wasn't dead. <laughs> I'm on the right side, right side of the grass. All right. At this moment, we have hmm. a living legend of music with us. Bobby Bear is a performing and recording artist, an inductee of the Country Music Hall of Fame, a Grammy Award winner. We're so pleased to welcome him here to talk about, among many things, his new album, Things Change. Thank you, Bobby Bear. Well, it's good to be able to visit with everybody and say hello to you, Paul. Well, the name of this album of yours is Things Change. That's one thing that is always constant is change. Bob Dylan had the times they are a-changing. You have things change. So what was the inspiration for this title song? The inspiration for Things Change was just uh, my old friend who's no longer with us, uh, Hoyt Axton. You remember Hoyt? He was the actor and the singer and uh, uh, songwriter. He wrote all of the a lot of big hits. I'd never been to Spain. And he was a movie star and all that. But right before Hoyt died, his mom, Max, and lives up close to me. And I would go over and hang out with Hoyt and have breakfast with him and everything. And uh, Hoyt always said, uh, he always had a saying. He said, uh, okay. Uh, all I've learned is a cowboy hat will blow off and I would win. And uh, women rule the world and things change. <laughs> and so, two, three years after Hoyt passed away, I got to thinking about Hoyt. And I got to thinking about that. And I got together with a couple of buddies and wrote a song. Good song, good song. I love it. I enjoyed it, too. I was watching last night. There's a video on CMT.com, the music video for Things Change, and everybody can check that out. There's a lot of cameos from some great music artists in that music video. How did you feel when you watched it for the first time? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was... I got some smiles out of it because... <laughs> Whenever we did it, I had no idea what we were doing. I just showed up. But uh, whenever we did the Merle Haggard tribute down down here at the arena, all my friends were there. All my friends were there, and they had a video camera, and they started uh, shooting. There was Tanya, and there was Amy Loretta, Willie, you name it. Everybody showed up. And... Uh, so we got shots. I had him saying, uh, uh, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd say, Willie, say, I love Bobby Bear. And he said, I love Bobby Bear, and I don't care what you say. We just got, just got a lot of blurbs like that. And uh, they are my friends, and I, and they do love me, and I know it. And uh, it just makes me feel good to know that. When, when you see him saying that, it's for real. You know, there have been three people on this show who said we, when you were brought up in some way, they said that they thought you were the coolest human being on earth. <laughs> you know, I've heard that, and I, re and, uh, and I still don't understand it. I still don't understand what, uh, what, what the, where the coolness comes from. I, I, uh, I don't think my grandkids think I'm cool. They think I'm just a crazy old man. <laughs> but I, I just love people that that we've been talking about. You know, I, I, I honestly do love them, and I always have always surrounded myself with uh, with people that I love that love me, and most mostly they were great songwriters. I was always surrounded by, you know, Christopherson, Billy Joe Shaver, Harlan Howard, Hank Cochran, you, you, 
Just, just loads of them. Bobby Braddock talked to Bobby Braddock yesterday, and uh, amazing writers. And there was never an excuse for me to record a bad song. And uh, and it's just like I did the tribute for Guy Clark at the Ryman, and Guy Clark talk about cool. Guy Clark was one of the coolest guys I ever met. And he was a master at writing songs and doing things. And we did a tribute at the Ryman Auditorium, and everybody that came to that tribute, I understood Guy more from that than anything because I looked at all these people that were there, you know, Ricky Skaggs, Rodney Corral, Amy Lou, Chris Stapleton, and his wife, uh, Delbert McClinton. All, all and I realized that Guy Clark never put up with fools. He only loved all these talented people and who were great people. And None of them were, there wasn't, Guy Clark's taste in people were impeccable. And that's, I think Guy Clark was cool. I thought Johnny Cash was cool. But uh, as far as Bobby the Bear being cool, I can't help you with that one. (laughs) Well, the man we are talking to, is the very cool country singer Bobby Bear. You have a duet on this album with Chris Stapleton of the song that you're synonymous with, Detroit City. Yeah. Well, Chris Chris is great. You know, everybody in Nashville, Chris and I have written songs together. But over the years, everybody has known that Chris Stapleton was an unbelievable talent. An unbelievable singer, you know. We'd be writing songs, and he would he would jump into something that would just blow you away. And and we've all known that how great he how great he is. And 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 then finally he got he got his break, which more than deserves. And so on. On Chris and I's duet, I said, uh, I told Chris, I said, let's you you and I do a duet on Detroit City and let's crank it up. Let's crank it up, juice it up, and do a duet, not not a harmony. You're not singing harmony. You and I are a duet. We are the Everly Brothers. You be Don, I'll be Phil, and we'll do Detroit City. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, uh, well, it was a ton of fun. I mean, you could tell the way we were doing it. You've been doing this for a long time, and you've released a lot of songs through the years. Has the reason that you are a singer changed through the years? No. No, the only reason... The only reason I'm a singer is I've wanted to be a country singer since I was probably 10 years old. That's all I've ever wanted to be, is a country singer. And the music changes, but I'm still a country singer. I've, all of my first records were big pop hits, but it was still I was still a country singer. Still am. I always will be. I had the opportunity to interview the songwriter Tom T. Hall, and I asked him, who's done the best job at interpreting your songs? And he said, Bobby Bear. You recorded songs by some of the great songwriters of our time, and there's some great songwriters on this album of yours, Things Change. How important are songwriters to a man like yourself? Most important thing in the world. I mean, if you don't have... A great song, you your chances having a great record is zero because it can't happen. And I've been fortunate to be 
surrounded by great writers. I think Tom T. Hall is one of the greatest that ever was. He has the ability to capture he has the ability to capture the mentality of the people from our part of the country, Appalachia, better than anybody. Their mindset, the way they talk, and there's a whole lot of whole lot of uh country music stars from our part of the country. It's uh you know, there's T- Tom T. The, I'm from Ireton, and the Judd's Judge grew up right, uh, right across the river in Ashland, Kentucky. Bill Joe Cyrus is from there, from Ireton, and and right across the river, Russell, Kentucky. Tom T. Smiled Hill, which is only about 40 miles down the road. Chris is Stapleton's from Paintsville, Kentucky, and that's about 60 miles down the road. Ricky Skaggs is from around there, you name it. It's loaded. We've listed a lot of titles that could be applied to Bobby Bear. Singer, recording artist, entertainer. We could also say fisherman. What's the best thing about fishing? Uh, you get away from everything. Your mind clears. You're thinking about catching a fish. And you're uh, relaxing. Very, very good for you. It's, you know, I've been married for about 52 years. I was, when my wife would get sideways about me going fishing, I said, well, better than hanging out in bars, getting drunk, chasing women. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to agree with that. I said, there ain't no booze, there ain't no women on the lake. No, it keeps you. It keeps you in balance. Keeps you in balance, clears your head, and you get a better perspective on life and everything. I have a lot of fishing buddies. Is there anyone in music you'd like to go fishing with that who may be hearing this interview, who knows, that you haven't yet? I can't really think of who it would be because I've fished with just about everybody, Roland Martin. From, and I know all of them, love them all. I've never met a fisherman who was a bad guy. They're all good people. And, I, I fished with Jerry Reed was my old fishing buddy for 40 years. And I wound up getting all his fishing gear, his rods and reels. A lot of good fishermen that you wouldn't expect. A lot of fishing you, fishermen you would not expect. Uh, Henry Winkler, big fisherman. When, he, when him and Jerry Reed were doing uh, the water boy thing with Adam Sandler, they'd get three or four days off. They, they would come and fish with me. And uh, all all fishermen are good people. I know I know a lot of the, several rock stars that have kicked their drug problem by fishing. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of folks listening in. We're joined by Bobby Bear, and I thought I would just let you take the microphone in closing. For anyone who's listening in, what would you, Bobby Bear, say to the audience? Well, I would have to say uh, to all the fans that have been with me since the 60s, thanks for coming along for the ride. It's been a great one, and I've I love them just as much as as, as they love me, and uh, as long as I can, I I'll, I'll continue to do music because that's what I love. I love going in the studio, recording really good songs that I love. And thanks to all the support that I've had over the years, and I've had a lot of it. Anyone out there, if they want more information, they can visit bobbybear.com. 
Mr. Bear, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks for asking for asking me. It's been uh, a great conversation. I'm not I'm not much of a talker, but uh, we probably got her done. I think so. All right, you have a good day, and everybody else. All right, thank you so much. <laughs>